Panel, this is Connect Four. I'm going to give you four phrases ripped from various headlines all about the same story. Have a listen to these phrases and see if you can identify the news story. Self-inflicted crisis. Literally unwatchable. Hurtling deeper into danger. Swing and a miss. For the point, what news story generated those four phrases in headlines? Kanye trying to get Kim back. <laughs> That's a good guess. I'll give them to you one more time. Self-inflicted crisis, literally unwatchable, hurtling deeper into danger, swing and a miss. Oh, the Ukraine tribute to uh, from SNL just last week. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. It was a swing and a miss in my opinion. They That whole thing they did with the choir. <laughs> Boring. It wasn't funny. <laughs> good guess, but not what I was looking for. Was it? Russia? It, 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 Russia. Those headlines were actually about something else. Anyone know? Ooh, my God. Baseball lockout. You were correct. Oh! Yeah! Oh, For the players, actually... Miguel Rivas. Okay. Uh, Baseball deeper into danger. <laughs> <laughs> the headline from Sports Illustrated reads, MLB hurdles itself deeper into danger. Wow. Wow. What is the danger? Well, I don't know, but doesn't it feel a bit like we have enough real danger? Yeah. Going on? We don't need to jack up baseball. I was going to say, is this Tucker Carlson yeah. like, interpreting the lockout as some kind of crazy? I feel like the danger is that it's uh, hurtling towards total lack of relevance. Basically correct. Yes, they're worried about people just stopping caring about baseball. The Major League Baseball lockout canceled opening day and the beginning of the season. The league and the Players Association failed to make a deal by the deadline. 90 games have been canceled. Oh, my. Already. Oh my goodness. But that's only 4% of the games. <laughs> yeah. true. Right. It is that's baseball. Right. It's way too many games. Yeah. The league commissioner said that there are a number of concerns on management side, but mm. one thing is on the top of that list. What tops the list of the owner's concerns? It's my understanding that there's not enough pitching and too much belly itching. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much. It bit. is not catching and scratching, but that is a good guess. Okay. Emma. Um, the relentless jock itch. <laughs> He's paying these gentlemen millions of dollars, and yet, even after 150 years of an evolving sport, the hands <laughs> on the peckers is relentless, and the manager has had enough! I think it's the, the league commissioner is mad that the coaches and managers still have to wear uniforms like the players. It's the only sport oh, where they do that. That's and whoa, like that these, is true. Yeah. These pudgy uh, middle-aged men in their pajamas. <laughs> it's unsightly. It's un I believe the headline was unwatchable, right? Literally unsightly. unwatchable. Uh, he said, the concerns of our fans are the very top mm. of our consideration list. Oh. I bet it's more something that rhymes with honey. <laughs> uh, what rhymes with honey? The concerns of our fans. <laughs> <laughs> Former Blue Jays pitcher Marcus Stroman clapped back at that statement on Twitter. What did he tweet? He tweeted, this arm was made for two things, striking people out and navigating my jock itch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tango every game. Do not tell me what to do, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. He tweeted, fans, this man doesn't care about y'all. <laughs> Oh, wow. Did he have, <laughs> you're I'm speechless. stunned at that Was clapback. Was he <laughs> scratching himself while he tweeted? I do not know. CBC News put the story succinctly. This lockout is pretty much solely over money. According yeah. to CBS Sports, the single biggest issue is the luxury tax. Panel, what is the luxury tax? I mean, baseball is money ball. So I'm sorry, if you're going to play, you better earn your money on the GD field and pay your luxury tax or get out! I like it. Or you're out of here! Uh, Miguel. Here's the real boring answer because I'm a sports geek, is that the luxury tax is what you have to pay if you go over the salary cap, which is the max amount of money you can spend on your team, which is a way to even out the play between the oh big God. cities and I'm small asleep. cities. I'm asleep. Oh, I fell asleep too! Uh, I'm asleep. <laughs> Totally boring, but absolutely correct. <laughs> Somebody has to know things. I kept increasing uh, the speed of, at which I was talking <laughs> I knew, I knew. in the hopes that I would get to the end before I lost it was like all three of you. Data, The like, players' okay, union, <laughs> looking at the other side, what do the players want? I mean, money, obviously. Does it have something to do with the subjective hours of practice versus the imperative hours of piloting jock itch? <laughs> uh, money is correct. According to the New York Times, the players are frustrated that salaries have not kept pace with club revenues. Mm. Also, younger players are being relied upon, but paid very little. Mm. The players union is pushing back against how long a team can keep a top prospect in the minor leagues, which pushes back when that player is available for free agency. Emma, what is free agency? I've been asleep for the last <laughs> yes. five minutes here. No idea what, I just woke up, but it looks nice in here. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, Free agency, anyone? <clears throat> this is going to be thrilling. <laughs> Basically, free agency is uh, is players who aren't assigned to a team, but who are of the caliber to play in the league, and they're waiting to be signed to a team. They're called free agents. That oh, is correct. That's, okay. <laughs> you may be thinking of this as a conflict between millionaires and billionaires, but while the average pro player makes five million a year, players kept down in the minors make a little less than that, according to ESPN. Can you guess what is the average annual salary for a minor league player? I actually do know this. It's peanuts and cracker jacks. <laughs> Ooh. And by the way. Your question should have been asked, like, you think it's about billionaires and millionaires. <laughs> it is not about billionaires and billionaires. <laughs> Everything is about billionaires and millionaires. And millionaires. <laughs> Terribly $60 far off. $60 billion. Dollars. Incorrect. Oh. Uh, Miguel? One dollar, Bob. <laughs> Higher than that. Uh, it is 14000 Oh, my annually. God. Whoa. That's yeah. offensive. That is, yeah. I'm like, They frankly. should get into stand-up. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, guys. Improvisers make more, more than that. Than yes. <laughs> so much more. Incredible. The players have found a few creative ways to put the pressure on the owners. The New York Yankees pitcher Jameson Tyon pitched himself for a new job over social media. Can you tell me for a point, what company did he tweet at? Emma. Gold Bond. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to say jock it and you got us. For the itch. That's it. Oh, I'm not gonna... It was not Gold Bond. Medicated powder. <laughs> Whatever company makes ski ball machines, because there that's the go. only like skill that's translatable, because he throws balls really fast. Hot dogs. <laughs> he tweeted at the coffee chain Blue Bottle Roast, saying, I make a mean pour over, I'll bring value to the team. Oh. No way. Well, he's wow. on the internet, that is a, I guess. That sounds like a joke answer, too. As yeah. an actor, I know what it's like to be scared of becoming a barista again. Again, so. <laughs> yeah. I feel it every day. <laughs> I feel it now. This is Major League Baseball's ninth ever work stoppage, the first since 1995. Panel, will you be upset if baseball doesn't go come on. back for the summer? I go I go to a baseball game like once every two years. So it will take me a while to notice that it's not around. But once it's not around, yeah, I'll, I like sitting out in the sun and drinking one beer and feeling like I had 10 beers. You know? <laughs> it is what it is like. <laughs> the Guardian newspaper said baseball is in danger of fading further into the background of U.S. culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. America's pastime, which is the nickname for baseball, is past its time. Oh, Whoa. baseball! Baseball is very, very, very long. Yes, and it's for people who had longer attention spans and little else to do back in the day. And it doesn't compete with the fun sports where fun things happen. What's the new American sport then for Pickle the TikTok ball, generation? Pickleball, pickleball, slam ball, squash, uh, battle robots, battle robots. <laughs> you know, because like baseball, literally, they play 162 games a year before the playoffs. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they, no one can pay attention to that. And when I think about baseball, I legitimately think about an old-timey radio voice. All right. You know? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's out. Okay, I'm and here comes Joe Willie Namath. Oh, no, Coming up to the plate now. <laughs> I've been stuck oh, inside this radio for nigh, nigh on 40 years. Exactly. It's 2022, and he's out of there. <laughs> Check out the entire episode of Because News by subscribing on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.